is alright with me, Dream Team is alright. Oh yeah! Dream Team is alright with me, Dream Team is alright, oh yeah! I'm Roy, I coach the Stroy, this is Warn Dog! Coach of the Warn Dogs! This is VA! He's but hey, no wonder he's excited because we've got some news for you later on. I might just go around the grounds first. Um, no, I won't. What about Chopper? Around the yeah. ground. The one ground that we need to worry about. Holy hat. Chopper. Holy hat. We thought being 51st in the nation last week was pretty bloody good. Bloody what impressive. is he now? He is one fifth. fifth. So you right. actually... Log on. You don't even have to log into DT <laughs> to know that because that's on the front page of the website. And it's written in big fat ass capital that's awesome. letters. He's pretty much a big deal. And oh, yeah, the other thing is he's winning Tassie, which is a pretty good effort too. Well, and, uh, small place. Someone's got to win it. Someone's yeah, got to exactly. be winning it. Might as well. Let's start around the grounds. Who's coming <laughs> fifth in Tassie? VA. It's a little bit embarrassing because I'm not, my team's... No, it's good. Oh, You've it, got to stop talking it's awesome. It is really good. But you know what happened last year, Roy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm just not, you know... No, nah, you're better structured than that, one dog. Exactly. Uh, well, yeah. I had a pretty average week. I was pretty <laughs> disappointed, but it still kept me uh, about ranked 2000, though, so I'm 1881. 1881? What happened in that year? <laughs> uh, that's when Australia was founded. You were born, weren't you? 1881. Oh, no, I didn't know. Oh, Captain Cook came. I just assumed you got 19. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. I got. Oh, sorry, I got 1938. It um, kept me at a surprising national ranking. I thought uh, I've had two mid 19s and uh, my ranking improved dramatically, mm. which would indicate to me there was a lot of people that nailed a big 2G first week. Bye bye. Yeah. Bane's always mm. going to have one now. Ah, oh, hello there, Albert Lord here, PhD DT. Look at me, I'm inside a TV, and I can be inside your box too, if you can get Southern Cross at nine o'clock on a Saturday morning. Here's a sneak peek of what you might catch this weekend. If you miss it on TV, always remember that you can see me on the Hawks website. Oh. Hello again, Albert Lord here, PhD DT, making you a better Dream Teamer. This is a very important week of Dream Team. Players' prices start to fluctuate depending on form. So take my friends, Calvin and Warney for example. They're both priced at 300,000 in Dream Team. However, their scores have been very contrasting. Warney here has been scoring 90s and 100. His value is going up. Whereas Calvin, on the other hand, has scores of 45 and 50. He is going down. For goodness sake, Calvin, go down. This might be a good week to get rid of your dud and get in the good player. Okay, although Lordy's advice sounded simple there, it, there's something we can all take out of that exactly. now. This week is the first time if a player doesn't reach their break even, so the score they need to reach to keep their price, they're either going well down if they don't reach it, if they surpass their break even, they're going well up. Now, this is where I'm going to introduce the term of a cash foul. Now, we all should know a cash cow is someone that's going to make you heaps of money. Cash foul, obviously, is the opposite. It is someone that's going to have a thumping big um, break even, and if they don't reach it, it starts the downward spiral. Now, boys, there well, are a few massive name cash oh, yeah, fouls. I've right. named a couple in my team, unfortunately. <laughs> they may be going, but do you want to uh, mention a cash foul that you've noticed? Andrew Embley had him last year. He's only averaged about 70. Uh, he's, got a he's got a break even of 150 this week. Whoa. He doesn't get it. Ouch. Start Starts that slide. Starts that slide. Mm. Who you got, Doug? I've, I've got a couple of minutes. One of mine, uh, Roy and I both share, is Shane Tuck. He's hacking! So he could possibly be out of uh, either of our teams, but Stupid we'll see how we go. But he's someone to think about getting on, especially after his massive last half of the season last year. Yeah. Maybe he's a massive slow starter. Let's see what it is. Speaking of slow starters, the guy I was going to say here is Nick Rewald. Ooh, now, traditionally, I wait till halfway through the season to get the vault, you do. and it looks like... This we may be able to do it again, exactly. yeah. And you, what did you get him for last year, Roy? Um, 330 Absolute bargain basement. 
bag of mixed lollies. Mixed Hell. lollies. Yeah. What I'd be doing, I'd be waiting for uh, Hayden Skipworth to get to his price and do a straight swap straight because that would probably happen at the way the rate it's going. See you, Skippy. G'day, Rui. Hello. Rui and Skippy. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That is good, I like it. V8 here and I'm here with uh, my old bloody boogie board checking out the uh, superstars fantasy stuff they've got on uh, sportingbet.com.au Check it out, this is for the Ruckman Dean Cox is paying 3 to 1 Simo, he's at 7s So are a bunch of other boys And then you've got Josh Fraser and then it pans out to a bunch of others at 10 My hot tip, Coxie, check that out Check that out, right here He averaged 116 against the Saints and at 3 to 1s You like triple your money? Grab a big Cox Chop anyone this week? Uh, chop. It's in your contract. You must chop someone each week. You serious? Yes. Well, in that case, then, Stephen Hill or Stephen Bitter Pill to swallow, you, my friend, are an absolute disgrace. You call yourself a hill when, in actual fact, you're not even a little mound of dog shit, you piece of crap. I have never, in all of my years of dream team, ever heard of a rookie not making a break, even. Hey, Stephen Hill, how about I break something of yours? Even <laughs> Stephen Hill, you get the chop. Uh, good on you, chop. We're Just rooting chopper. we're rooting you all the way there to uh, the <laughs> you car. <not> me. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you said you're not rooting chopper. Don't say that. That's good. I'm rooting for you. Are we still rolling? Keep going. You're rooting oh, for Oh, thanks, me. chop. Good luck, man, this week. <laughs> Just, oh, screw those guys. Chopper, you are a champion. You are going to hold and fly the flag high and shit like that for us. Um, it's time to go. Are you rooting me? You want me to? He said screw. See you next week. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what we're saying. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, Alright, so. What are you doing? It's an instrument. Just a bit of it. So we're just going. Can you make this song? Uh, yeah. Check it. Back in the 90s. Um, so the camera back. Um, <laughs> 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 it's pretty good.